Желаю вам успешного выполнения программы полета, благополучного возвращения на Землю. To all the three of you, uh, actually, how do you feel about working in a team of six? What are your expectations? Is it going to be more fun or easier to work there? What are your anticipations? Thank you. Uh, Six-person crew is a milestone in the uh, history of the uh, International Space Station. In a big way, the, your, the International Space Station will be able to fulfill its primary purpose, which is to function as a function as a world-class orbiting laboratory for medical science and material science. But there's also practical uh, issues to consider as well with a crew of six, and one of our goals with our three uh, colleagues on orbit is to prove that the station can support six people for a long duration. Yes, and of course, uh, I think the crew dynamics with uh, six people will be rather different than uh, what we have up till now with a three-person crew. So what we're actually doing uh, uh, today, as far as to tomorrow actually, and uh, the next uh, months will be to prepare for future space exploration, uh, where also there will be more and more people flying to space. So uh, actually, in our crew, we have a very good, uh, we have a lot of fun in our crew. We also work very hard together. So I think uh, whatever we do and whatever we set out uh, will be the lead for uh, future space exploration of our solar system. Quel est votre sentiment euh, à l'aube de cette mission de six mois euh, par rapport à la dernière fois où vous étiez parti seulement dix jours dans l'espace In English uh, How do you react uh, now for the, your second flight uh, in comparison with the first one who was shorter uh, Naturellement, le, le sentiment qu'on a est un, un peu différent. Euh, quand on part pour 10 jours, on a beaucoup de travail, mais c'est quand même une courte période, c'est comme un, un sprint qu'on doit faire. Euh, ici, c'est plutôt un, un marathon, donc aussi euh, euh, la préparation de l'équipage, on est mentalement préparé pour rester 6 mois à bord de la Station Spatiale Internationale. Euh, le jour du, euh, du lancement, ou les quelques jours de, devant le lancement, naturellement, on se concentre plus sur le lancement et sur le vol en Soyuz. Euh, donc c'est ça qui nous préoccupe le plus pour le moment, le, le jour de demain et le, le start en fait. Uh, in het Nederlands uh, natuurlijk uh, is het helemaal anders. Als we voor tien dagen vertrekken dan voor uh, zes maanden. Tien dagen is een, uh, meer een sprint. Uh, zes maanden is een uh, marathon die we moeten lopen. Dus de voorbereiding daarop is anders. Met de bemanning hebben we ons daar ook uh, anders samen op uh, voorbereid. Maar we zijn er zeker klaar voor. Uh, maar nu natuurlijk uh, vandaag en morgen uh, waar we het meest mee bezig zijn is de, de lancering. En uh, dan uh, het werk de eerste twee dagen in de Soyuz. And what does this mission mean for the, Canadi for the future of the Canadian space program? Well, the best thing about this expedition is that I will have the chance to live and work in space for six months. It's only by uh, remaining in space for six months that we have enough uh, resources and, um, and, and manpower to accomplish a very ambitious scientific program. I have had the opportunity to fly on a short duration space flight. Short duration space flights are like uh, 100 meter sprints. There's a lot of activity. Uh, a long duration uh, space flight, a uh, six month expedition, is more like a marathon. Pacing myself, pacing ourselves will be very important. The worst part about uh, this expedition is that I'm going to be in space for six months as well. I will miss my, my family and my friends. I'll miss some birthdays. I'll miss some scouting campouts. I'll miss some hockey games. I'm missing getting hugs at, at nighttime before I go to bed. And I'll miss my beautiful country of the oceans, the Rocky Mountains, the prairies, and uh, the smells and the tastes of, uh, of a beautiful country for six months. It's Rob Nabius from NASA Television for Frank and Bob, perhaps. Um, you all are about to embark on a half year in space that poses perhaps the most significant air traffic control challenge in the history of stations, something like a dozen dockings and undockings of critical vehicles, not to mention 13 people living on station during two visiting shuttle flights. I'm just wondering, it's one thing to get to six-person crew, it's another thing to sustain six-person crew for the long haul. What are your thoughts about uh, any challenges, the consequences of being able to maintain a six-person crew through resupply through a variety of vehicles for the long haul of station? 
Uh, this is a very interesting uh, question, uh, Rob. Uh, indeed, it will be uh, a challenge for everybody uh, to make sure that we can sustain six uh, persons on orbit. Because, uh, of course, uh, most of the questions go about us and how we will work together with six on board. But uh, we don't need to forget that for us to be able to do this work, there are thousands and thousands of people around the globe working to make sure that we have everything we need to be able to work and live on board. And uh, as mentioned, uh, we are an uh, international crew in an international space station. Uh, and I think this is the strength because uh, to maintain six people on board by one single nation today in a space station would be impossible. But thanks to this international cooperation, not only of the crew, but of all these uh, organizations, of all the people that work in these organizations, which, has, which have one single goal in mind, this will make it possible to sustain six persons on board. Yeah. I think it shows a great example to the rest of the world that if nations want to work together, for something great, for something wonderful, for something for the future of our kids, that we can achieve incredible things. So I want to thank uh, all the organizations that uh, made this possible, and I hope that uh, we will be able to continue this for uh, many, many years to come.